guys and happy first day of fall. It is finally here. The one at least us Americans always obsess over. It's sweater weather, it's cuffing season, it's pumpkin spiced everything season, and apparently this year it's clown season as well. The other day I was online hunting for a few specific items that I was desiring in my wardrobe or needed for some other reasons, but I fell victim to the black hole that is online shopping and there were a bunch of random sales going on and I don't know, I have no excuses, I bought things and I want to show them to you. <laughs> and also, I'm going to throw in a few of my favorite products that I've been using as well. So this is just kind of going to be a mashup of new things I'm excited to be trying, old things that I'm loving, and yeah, I don't really know. Enjoy! <laughs> First up, we have an oldie but a goodie. I love Bite Beauty lipsticks. These are the Amuse Bouche Lipstick. The texture is just so nice and so creamy. This is licorice and it is this gorgeous ox blood color. It's so pretty. Next up is a newbie but a quick, quick favorite. I finally got the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil and I love it. I absolutely adore it. This guy is so skinny and so thin you can make perfect hair like strokes which is exactly what I need so I have my eyebrows microbladed but there's just a few spots that need filled in or if I want a more dramatic look I pair this with like a brown gel and it's perfect it also has a little spoolie on the other side and this is in shade 4 I probably have lipstick all over my teeth filming this I'm sorry next up is fairly new my mom gave me this while I was home she sells it in her hair salon it is puff me by design me they describe it as a volume cloud mist. It's a perfect way to describe it. I don't know what this trickery is. I don't even know what it's made out of, but it's somewhat like a dry shampoo, but not. It just instantly texturizes your hair. And for somebody with really thin hair, if I want to do any kind of styling, whether it be a braid or even putting in my clip-in extensions, I need to have texture. Whoa, I just looked at the screen and the color changed so much. Oh, it's about to get real bright. I see the sun coming. Sorry guys. Next up is a very inexpensive find. It is Soap and Glory. If you guys watched my Snapchat, you saw Soap and Glory gave me that really fun Barbie electric car, which I am creepily obsessed with. But within that package, they sent me a bunch of products. I've worked with Soap and Glory before. I have a ton of their products. I love a ton of their products. And this one is the Mighty Contour Pack. So I made it look really gross, I'm sorry. But it has the contour right here, and then it just has a little blush and highlight. And I've never used a cream blush before. I thought it would look ridiculous and just too much. I don't think I'll ever use anything else again. This is an incredible contour for anyone starting out with contour, someone who's not really good at blending, anybody. <laughs> it goes on so smooth and it blends out so nicely, but not in a way where it overly blends out. So you put it here and it ends up down here. It stays in place, but it just melts smoothly into your skin without completely disappearing. I have it in happy medium and this color is so nice on my cheeks for a nice natural contour. All right, next up is product I'm really excited for. I got a little bit of Fenty Beauty product by a bad girl Riri herself. I was on the Sephora website specifically looking for a brow pencil to try out since I didn't like mine. And of course it happened to be the day that Fenty Beauty dropped and I had to buy something. The highlighter, which I got the confetti matchstick one, obsessed. Whoa, it just went dark again. Ah! I'm sorry, this lighting is just ugh. Actually, you guys might be able to see it better. Wow, it's dark, so sun, stay away. What? What? I have it on now, too, as well. It's beautiful. I am so obsessed with it. It's very purple, and I'm more into natural highlight tones, like pearls and stuff like that for my skin, but it's so fun. I love it, and I think it kind of chills out a little bit. So I got that. And when I was checking out, Sephora was offering a sample size 
and I just on a whim guessed my shade. I had no idea if it was gonna work or not. And after seeing a ton of reviews about this foundation, I was a bit worried because a lot of people said it dried much darker and it oxidized and they went orange. I don't really agree with those reviews. I'm obsessed with this foundation. Now I do have to say, I typically buy foundation too light for my skin. It's a problem. I think because I overly tanned when I was younger and wore foundation that made, again, I'm looking, I'm like, well, it's so bright again. I wore foundation that was like orange and then white neck. It was a mess, so I'm so scared of that. I go too light sometimes, but I have it in the shade 220. I just placed an order for a full one. Okay, on to the actual clothing items. I also wanna give a little disclaimer that I'm not a big fan of fast fashion. So if you guys don't know, a lot of stores like Forever 21 and H&M and all of those, they create new styles non-stop. As soon as it's in the store, they want it out of the store and new stuff comes in. It's not the best thing for the environment. It's not the best quality. There may not be the best working conditions. There's a lot of issues with it. And I'm trying to educate myself and pull back from this. And it's just hard. I think like becoming vegan, it takes a lot of education. It takes a lot of knowing your alternatives and it's just gonna take me a little time. So for now, I'm showing you guys products that are all from those types of stores. I'm a hypocrite. I'm a hardcore hypocrite. Okay, after a little memory card malfunction, we are back in action. So I believe I was showing you guys this bodysuit from Misguided, the brand London. I believe it's also majorly marked down right now if they are still left. So if you want one, you go run over there and get it. I love this. It's very athletic chic, which I'm very into, but I'm into anything where I get to be really comfy and cozy and perceived as somewhat stylish. Who doesn't like that? Next up, you have 100% already seen this shirt because I wore it 12 days in a row. I'm not ashamed. It is a cropped tee, also from Misguided, and it says Rebel with the cause, and I am obsessed with it in this whole outfit. This gingham print skirt, I feel like I can wear, oh wait, not a skirt, it's a skirt. Let's just be excited about that, because I'm thrilled. And it pairs so well with this tee, the proportions of this outfit, I'm really, really into. And on top, to edge up this outfit a little bit, I got a new leather jacket. Of course, it's vegan, also from Misguided. You guys might have heard that I lost one of my leather jackets while I was in Pittsburgh or Nashville, or I don't know, during my last trip. I really don't lose anything, but something about leather jackets, I lose very frequently. And while I was looking for leather jackets, I stumbled upon this really, really unique piece. It is an off the shoulder leather jacket. I love it, it's badass, but I don't know if I'm badass enough for it, but it's just really cool. I like off the shoulder pieces and I love leather jackets, so for it to be a off the shoulder leather jacket, that's cool. <laughs> My explanations for these things, it's cool, it's just, Cool. All right, moving on to Forever 21. Again, really into off the shoulder pieces. So this tan little guy is really fun. It has a little bit of frill on the top and then the sleeves are belled out on the bottom. So there's just some really nice detailing on this. I will admit it's a little bit uncomfortable to put on. I don't think the arms are sewn on very well. So you have to really adjust it and twist it and like get all up in there. It also it also looks so tiny off. It reminds me of those, you guys remember those like springy t-shirts that Limited 2 had? And they would shrink up that it looked like your doll would only fit in it and then you put it on and it like stretched out. They were like, and then. Does that explain it to anyone with my terrible explanation? Okay, one of my favorite pieces that I got, they're dirty right now because I just wore them and they have like lint all over them. These high-waisted sweatpants with the stripe down the side. I've been looking for them to wear with a cropped hoodie that I have, which might in fact also be merch that you guys can buy soon. These are so cool. However, I think they run a little bit big. I bought them in a medium. They're kind of baggy, so they don't really stay high-waisted. I think I'm gonna have to go back and also buy these in a small. 
And since it's nearly sweater weather, I got a cropped kind of frayed off the shoulder sweater also from Forever 21. I know that this piece is probably gonna last me maybe into the winter before it's totally tattered and falling apart. It's just one of those things. It was very inexpensive and I know it's not gonna last me very long, but I couldn't resist. I just loved like the unstructured sweater. I was at Zara in New York and I got this striped print dress with these ties. You can tie it in the front and the back, leave them hanging. It's kind of like Missoni vibes. It's so beautiful and the colors in it screams fall. Like I literally wanna just run through leaves in this. That was so corny, I can't believe I said that. I just want to run through leaves in this. I do though, okay? And finally, this gold lame type long jacket from Revolve and it's House of Harlow. A lot of you have asked me about this. I've snapped it, I've Instagrammed it, whatever. It's been all over because I'm obsessed with it. It's such a statement piece. I've been wearing it with just light jeans and a black tank and let it stand out all on its own. But you could absolutely really dress this piece up. I get so many compliments every time I wear it. It is currently my, dare I say, favorite piece in my wardrobe. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my new favorites and old favorites and everything in between and hopefully you got a little inspiration for your fall fashion. Also, if you guys like this makeup look that I have going on today, I would be happy to do a makeup tutorial. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and comment the lipstick emoji in the comment section below so I know that you wanna see it. Love you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye guys. Now I'm so washed out, where's my nose? Ugh, this lighting, but that highlighter though is still popping.